Today, I'm gonna to show you a super simple and super quick method that you can use to take shaky or jittery drone footage and make it silky smooth. You can take drone footage that looks like this and turn it into something that looks like this. It's super simple to do, and I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to do it. Let's jump right in. So to make or jittery or shaky footage smooth, I'm gonna use Adobe Premiere Pro. Now don't be afraid when you hear the words Adobe Premiere Pro. Although Premiere Pro can be an advanced piece of software, it can actually be really straightforward to do simple things like smoothing out shaky footage. So I've got it fired up, and this is the piece of footage I am going to be stabilizing. So if I hit play, you can see it's a simple drop down shot that I done with my drone. The gimbal tilts up towards the horizon, but unfortunately it was quite a windy day and you can see the drone is really struggling. The gimbal's really struggling to keep the footage smooth, especially if you look around the outside of the footage here. And if you focus on the car, you can see that it, it is shaking about all over the place, which is a shame because this is a really good clip and I don't really want to waste this clip, but I don't think in the condition it's currently in, that you could use it. It's just far too jarring and far too shaky. Thankfully, it's really, really straightforward to smooth this out. And this will work with most pieces of footage. If it's really, really jittery or really, really shaky, then sometimes the results aren't perfect. But for simple jitteriness and shakiness like this, this method works all the time. So with the piece of footage in your timeline, make sure you're in the effects layout each one of these layout types up at the top of Premiere Pro changes some of the options you have in Premiere Pro. And so we want to be in the effects layout. And then over in the right in the effects tab, if this isn't open like this, just simply click on the effects tab and search warp stabilizer. You'll see it here. And then all you want to do is you want to drag warp stabilizer onto your timeline, onto the piece of footage you want to stabilize. It'll say analyzing in background and now's a great time to go get a drink, whatever you're drinking and let it run. You'll see over to the left, you'll get a time remaining. So depending on the length of clip, sometimes it can take a couple of minutes. Sometimes it can take a few seconds. It really just depends on the length of the clip and you'll see it'll sooner or later finish and then it'll say stabilize them. And once it's done, that's it. It will have stabilized your piece of footage. And now if I hit play, Look how smooth this looks. It looks perfectly smooth. Premiere Pro and Warp Stabilizer have done an amazing job of stabilizing this piece of footage. Now, one thing you need to know is to stabilize the footage, it actually crops in a little bit. So you'll notice that it does zoom in to your video a little bit. That's how it stabilizes. If you change the framing option to stabilize only and hit play, you'll see how it's actually doing the stabilization. It's scaling and rotating and warping the image so that it stays smooth. But you wanna keep this on stabilized crop and auto scale. And this will turn your jittery and shaggy piece of footage into something really smooth. And it is as simple as that. Now, if this is a video that has helped you or you find useful, please let me know by clicking the thumbs up, the like button down below. And if you're into your drones, if you like anything to do with drones, then please check out my channel. I have a ton of content to help you level up your drone game. And actually, if you want to watch some more drone videos right now, I recommend checking out them videos just over there. And I'll not keep you back any further. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you just over there.